Pakistanis reacted largely with optimism to the election of Donald Trump as U.S. president, as anticipation about who will be appointed as the special envoy for the region grows. Political analyst Zara Kuro said Pakistan could face trouble if Zalmai Khalilzad is chosen as the Afghanistan-Pakistan special envoy. One hears rumors that it might be Zalmai Khalilzad. If that is the case then he is very much a hawk on Pakistan, Kuro told the Associated Press. However, it is important to understand that Trump is fundamentally transactional. It's about what he can get from you at what price. If he gets what he wants he will be willing to do business with anyone in Pakistan, he added. Meanwhile, stock market analyst Gibran Sarfraz welcomed Trump's win as his last tenure was good for Pakistan. We expect the relation to be further improved if he adopts a soft policy and provides a business-friendly environment, said Sarfraz. Local resident Kurshid Remini also expressed his delight in a Trump administration. It will have a positive impact on the whole world. Trump's win is a good omen, he said. Who is going to be the special envoy to the AFPAC region? I mean, one hears rumors that it might be Zalmay Khalilzad, and if that is the case, then he's very much a hawk on, on, on Pakistan. So that could spell uh, some trouble going forward. However, I think that it's important to understand, at least in my view, that Trump is fundamentally transactional. Uh, it's about what he can get from you at what price. So um, a lot of people here feel that, you know, he may not want to play ball with the current uh, political government. He may play hardball. I will uh, certainly accept that. That's his style. But I think that if he gets what he wants, he'll be willing to do business with anyone in Pakistan. I don't think that there's going to be any kind of an outsized impact. I mean, certainly, you know, as we saw with the last Trump administration, there is always a baseline increase in racism in the United States when someone like Trump wins. But, um, you know, as they say, a rising tide lifts all boats, right? So um, it's not, I don't think that the Pakistani community is going to be specifically targeted out, uh, uh, by Trump supporters or, or in, in that case. But of course, if there's a general rise in racism, then that affects all uh, ethnic, linguistic uh, and racial minorities in the United States. ट्रम्प की जो अभी मोमेंट शुरू हुई है उसको पाकिस्तान के सभी हलकों ने और चाहे वो सियासी हलके हैं सफारती हलके हैं और तमाम ही लोगों ने उनकी आमद उनकी नोमतखीब होने पर सेलेक्ट होने पर खैर मकदम किया है और बड़ी अच्छी निगाह से देखा है तो मैं समझता हूँ इसके मुस्तबिल में भी बड़े अच्छे असरा मरतब होंगे और पूरी दुनिया में एक मस्बत मैसेज है कि ट्रम्प का आना खुशाइन है एशिया के लिए खासतौर पर जो पॉलिसी बनाएंगे अगर सॉफ्ट पॉलिसी बनाएंगे तो पाकिस्तान और यूएस के ताल्लुक भी बेहतर होंगे और मज़ीद आने वाले दिनों में जो है जो लास्ट लास्ट जो टेंडोर था इनका वो भी एक अच्छा गुजरा था अब हम एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं कि पाकिस्तान और यूएस के ताल्लुक मज़ीद बेहतर हो सकते हैं अगर ये जो जो उनकी पॉलिसी है एशियन पर ख़ास तौर पर उनको सॉफ्ट करते हैं और जो बिज़नेस फ्रेंडली इन्वायरमेंट प्रोवाइड करते हैं
around 30% of Russia's nuclear arsenal, which consists of approximately 5,580 warheads, is within range of Ukrainian drones and missiles, according to Foreign Affairs media outlet. Because Ukrainian drone assaults have already reached as far as Moscow, it is clear that at least 14 Russian nuclear storage sites now fall within range of its drones. At least two of those sites are less than 100 miles from the Ukrainian border, well within striking range of the more damaging missiles Ukraine already possesses, and another five sites lie less than 200 miles from the border, close to or just beyond the range of the advanced Western-provided missiles that Ukraine is seeking permission to use against conventional targets in Russia. Foreign Affairs says, the author of the article notes that there are no signs that Ukrainian forces are intentionally targeting nuclear warhead storage sites. However, it is the Russian government's responsibility to move its nuclear warheads out of the way of danger. Russia knows that its warheads should not be positioned anywhere near conventional military operations. After Ukraine launched its first drone and missile attacks against Belgorod in the spring of 2023, Russia quickly reported that its Belgorod storage site was no longer storing nuclear warheads, acknowledging that warheads should not be stored anywhere near active fighting. But remarkably, there have been no Russian announcements about the status of the warheads it has at any of its other storage sites, Foreign Affairs says. The author suggests several possible explanations for this. Russian leader Vladimir Putin may believe that relocating the country's nuclear warheads would be seen as a sign of weakness. The Russian leadership may be unaware of the risks posed by these warheads. The Russian military may fear that the West would misinterpret the relocation of warheads as preparation for a nuclear attack, potentially leading to a preemptive strike by NATO. The possibility that a Ukrainian drone or missile will strike a warhead and create an explosion that distributes fissile material is already a major risk, but it is not the only one. Even more dangerous is the possibility that a Ukrainian missile strike or territorial takeover could throw a storage site into operational chaos, allowing rogue actors to seize its nuclear warheads or inadvertently prompt Russian nuclear escalation. Foreign Affairs reports the author underscores that Russia breached a sacred tenet of nuclear security by launching attacks against Ukraine from military bases that store nuclear warheads, thus making those bases a legitimate target for counter-offensives. He points out that since March 2022, Russia has been using the Engels-2 airbase to launch strikes on Ukraine with Kinzhal missiles, which are capable of carrying nuclear warheads. The author believes that there are probably dozens of nuclear warheads stored less than four miles from the Engels-2 base's main airfields. Russia is also thought to store dozens of nuclear warheads for short-range aircraft at the Yeysk and Morozovsk airbases. All of these airbases are known to have been attacked by Ukrainian forces multiple times. Foreign Affairs notes that a strike on a storage site would not in itself cause a nuclear explosion of the warheads. The threat arises when a warhead is outside a bunker, such as during transportation for maintenance within a storage site or at a rail